This year, Neuralink will embark on a groundbreaking endeavor as it initiates the implantation of microcomputers into the human brain. This isn't a mere speculation anymore. It's a reality that is set to reshape the landscape of brain-computer interface technology. Elon Musk Neuralink is poised to revolutionize a game in the rapidly evolving realm of brain-computer interface, and today's video will help you acquaint yourself with this transformative advancement. But before we dive in, take a moment to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell as well, because we have more interesting videos on the way. A significant development in the Neuralink story is the approval for human trials received in the first half of 2023. Then, in September 2023, the company announced its commencement of recruiting for the first human test subjects for the N1 brain-computer interface and R1 surgical robot that will be used for implantation. The PRIME study, which is short for Precise Robotically Implanted Brain-Computer Interface, primarily aims to ensure the safety of both the BCI and the robot for human application. Additionally, it will assess the initial functionality of the BCI in enabling individuals with paralysis to control external devices using their thoughts. Ideal candidates for the trial are adults under the age of 40 experiencing paralysis in all four limbs, with the neural implantation targeted at the hand knob area of the premotor cortex, responsible for controlling hands, wrists, and forearms. Looking back at Neuralink's progress, in 2021, the company performed a total of 155 surgeries on sheep, pigs, and monkeys a number that increased to 294 surgeries in 2022. Unlike typical FDA human trials, Neuralink, due to its established track record in animal testing and significant interest from prospective human patients, has already received approval for multiple human surgeries in 2024. The current plan is for Neuralink to conduct 11 human implants in 2024, with projections of 27 implants in 2025 and 79 in 2026. Assuming success, Operations at Neuralink are expected to significantly ramp up, with the company anticipating 499 surgeries in 2027 and exponential growth into 2030, reaching an impressive 22,204 surgeries in that year. With a focus on human subjects, the surgical preparation and craniectomy are estimated to take a couple of hours, performed by neurosurgeons. The actual implantation via the R1 robot is projected to take about 25 minutes. The company estimates that each implant surgery will cost them approximately $10,500, covering exams, parts, and labor, with insurers expected to be charged around $40,000. Norlink forecasts annual revenue to potentially reach as high as $100 million within the next five years. The PRIME study, projected to span six years, aims to thoroughly examine and confirm Neuralink's findings. The company is actively seeking individuals with quadriplegia resulting from spinal cord injury or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis (ALS) for recruitment. In the primary phase, which spans 18 months post-implantation, participants will undergo check-ins every two months with the medical team to ensure the device functions as intended. The core of the research will occur during one-hour sessions twice a week, facilitated by the Neuralink BCI team. These sessions will involve monitoring and collecting extensive data. Following the primary phase, a long-term follow-up phase will kick in, featuring four clinical visits annually for the subsequent five years. Although these prospects seem promising, the experimental nature of the technology introduces an element of uncertainty until a study concludes. Despite valuable insights gained from primate studies, it's crucial to acknowledge the unique attributes of the human body and brain. While the US FDA has granted approval for the trials, close scrutiny is ongoing, recognizing that Neuralink has encountered challenges on its journey. In December 2022, the US Department of Agriculture initiated an investigation into Neuralink's treatment of certain animal subjects. Subsequently, in February 2023, the US Department of Transportation opened up probe based on allegations of unsafe transport of antibiotic-resistant pathogens. The latest inquiry in September 2023 raised concerns that monkeys reported to have died during trials were not terminally ill, as Elon Musk claimed, but potentially due to the Neuralink implant. With human trials now underway, heightened scrutiny is expected, given that while brain-computer interface technology isn't new, Neuralink's approach remains relatively uncharted. Elon Musk, known for his ventures into risky technological innovation, transitioned from rocket science to brain surgery in 2016. Despite sensationalist headlines, Neuralink's primary goal has consistently been to address brain diseases, spinal cord injuries, and disabilities through the use of a BCI. 
to understand how a brain-computer interface or BCI works, it's important to have insight into the brain's operations. The brain, within the skull, generates specific electrical impulses that control the body. These impulses travel through the neural network to different areas of the body, executing various functions. In cases of injury or degenerative diseases, the connection between the brain and a body part may break. A BCI serves as a device to bypass this broken connection, enabling the brain to communicate with the affected body parts and restore function. Implanted in the brain, the BCI can detect an electrical impulse and transmit it beyond the damaged section of the neural network to the still functional part. While the concept is straightforward, its execution is intricate and delicate, showcasing the complexities involved in Neuralink's pursuit of revolutionary medical advancements. Neuralink is certainly not the first to try this, as BCI is a technology that has been around for decades and has demonstrated its success. The current generation of BCIs utilizes a device known as a Utah Array, a small metal square, smaller than a human nail, equipped with up to 100 electrodes on one end. Each electrode is linked to thin copper wires to convey electrical signals. Implanted directly into the cerebral cortex of the brain, the array picks up electrical impulses and transmits them to an external device. Elon Musk, with Neuralink, isn't aiming to reinvent the wheel in the realm of BCIs. Instead, he's striving to push the technological boundaries of BCIs beyond their current limits. In a field where caution is essential, Musk is willing to take significant risks on unproven technology as he works towards making advancements. Neuralink has already initiated this transformative process, aligning with Musk's known penchant for shaking up industries with innovative ventures. Neuralink has brought about significant innovations in three key areas, propelling the industry forward. First and foremost, the Neuralink N1 distinguishes itself from traditional approaches like the rigid and spiked Utah array by using a mesh of ultra-thin and flexible wires. The flexibility of each electrode wire allows for strategic and precise placement over specific neurons in the brain, minimizing trauma to brain tissue. This results in reduced inflammation, scar tissue, and a lower risk of rejection. The second notable advancement is in the implantation procedure. While the Utah Array demands the steady hands of an expert neurosurgeon, Neuralink aligns with Elon Musk's vision of automation by employing a fully autonomous robot for the procedure. Modern robots offer superhuman precision potentially enhancing accessibility and safety by eliminating human error. The third industry improvement revolves around the size of the Neuralink device. Thin wires connect to a circular device roughly the size of a small coin. Future iterations aim to be placed under the skin, making the implant inconspicuous. This contrasts sharply with the bulky design and protruding wires of the Utah Array, offering a more approachable and socially acceptable option. Neuralink achieves this through cutting-edge silicon transistors as small as 3 nanometers, allowing the device to be easily concealed under the skin. Coupled with wireless Bluetooth technology for interfacing with external devices, Neuralink presents a compelling package for potential users. Currently, Neuralink stands out at the forefront of experimenting with brain-computer interface BCI, for addressing injuries and disabilities. The approval for human trials marks a significant step turning what once seemed like fantasy into a potential reality. We stand on the brink of something incredible for humankind, and there's a good chance that our generation will be the first to experience this historic advancement. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click the notification bell as well, so that you won't miss out on our upcoming videos.